In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear seminarians, my confer here, Brother Eugene, and of course, those who are following us in the live streaming of this Eucharistic celebration, some of my friends, in Hong Kong, Chosan, Hauma, Daigaho, and also some of our friends, brothers and sisters in North America because they are celebrating the Thanksgiving. Uh, so we put all together these intentions, the intentions of re um, being offered in this Mass, and of course the intentions of those people who ask for our prayers and put them in the altar of the Lord and ask our loving Father to grant us the blessings that we deserve and for us who are gathered together in this holy eucharist we now prepare our hearts for this communion with the divine word with the body and blood of our lord jesus christ as we pray i confess to almighty god and to, and you, to you my brothers, brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words in, in what, what i have done and in what, what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He sees the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God and who had not worshipped the best or its image nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands. They come to life and they reign with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from his presence and there was no place for them. I saw the dead the great and the lowly standing before the throne and scroll were opened 
Then another scroll was opened, the book of life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scroll. The sea gave up its dead, then death and Hades come upon their head. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. The dead and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. The pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth has passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here God lives among His people. Here God lives among His people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among His people. Even the sparrow finds a home and the shallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here God lives among His people. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the man whose strength you are, they go from strength to strength. Here God lives among His people. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, good morning to everybody, my brothers and sisters. Morning, mga kabalaybay. <laughs> ano pa kaya ang darating? Ano? ano pa kayang meron? Hindi pa tapos ang 2020 eh. No? Para bang sa sabi natin, sige pa! Ibuhos nyo pa! <laughs> ano pa bang wala? Pumutok na vulkan? Na COVID-19 na tayo? Binagyo pa tayo? No, I, I I remember a conversation I had with my former parishioner. Ah, uh, itong parishioner kong ito, siguro siya ang maituturing ko na pinakamadasalin. At bili ba ko sa kanyang pananampalataya, the lalim yung the the depth of her faith. Kahit na at one point ay hiniwalay na siya ng kanyang asawa. No? Hindi mo makikita sa kanya yung lungkot, hindi mo makikita sa kanya yung pagkabalisa although siguro deep inside but kung sa expression of faith she, she continuously express her faith and our conversation pag nag-uusap kami parang siya ang pare o parang siya ang reliyosa 
<laughs> at ako ang humihingi lagi ng ng payo sa kanya. But then recently, no, she sent to me a message na she is so disturbed and she really felt that the end is coming. No? The final days are coming. And I said, well, that is part of being a, a human. Lalo na yung standard natin. The standard that we have in many things are measured or the goodness of one thing is its durability or whether it will last, if not forever, for a long time. I, and I experienced that when we were assigned in Catholic trade. No? A story that I always tell, my no? favorite story ko to pagdating sa gantong mga conversation. Though, mga bata pa kami seminarista, napa-assign ako doon sa, tinda, sa section ng mga malalaking mga santo at saka tabernakulo. And that was holiday, May 1. No? Kaya mga seminarista ang pinatao. And I was so excited when somebody approached me and asked for a tabernacle. And she's looking for the most expensive tabernacle there. Ang mahal, grabe. Yung ba yung parang tabernakulo na pag napapadaan ka, kung ikaw ay nagmamando sa tindahan, sasabihin mo, kailan kaya mabibili ito? <laughs> o kaya may bibili pa kaya nito? Because we're talking of a hundred thousand worth of, of, of tabernacle. Paglapit nung, nung nagtatanong, nakita niyo yung mga dekorasyon and how it was made. At sabi niya, magtatagal kaya ito? Will it fade? Pag ginawa ka niya yung mga malilit na mga bato at saka yung, yung pinaka-coating ng tabernacle. Sabi ko nila lang, uh, very ideal ako noon. Sabi ko, naku ma'am, alam niya naman po, nothing will last. Uh, wala pong nagtatagal. I'm short of coating itong sinabi ng Panginoon na heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away. But of course, I just paraphrased it. Not exactly that, but I said, well, you know, hindi magtatagal yan. Only God. No, only, only the love of God and then and everything associated with God. Yun lang ang maglalast. Ayun. <laughs> Nadismaya. <laughs> Umalis. Hindi binili yung tabernakulo. <laughs> eh, ayoko na magsinunggrain. Ako, magtatagal po yan. Oo, patay na kayo, nandiyan pa yung tabernakulong yan. Which is true, no? Patay. Marami sa atin siguro, mama tayo, itong tabernakulo natin, dito, nandito pa. No? But then, of course, that is always the standard, is always the long. Even the life that we have, even what we're experiencing, lalo na kung yung joy, yung happiness. No? At pagdating ng mga ganitong pagkakataon, mga ganitong pandemia, and of course, calamities brought by natural disasters, we are disturbed. Much more is if we consider the readings that we have. First reading in the past few days was from the vision, the revelation. <laughs> Pinag-uusapan ng mga dragon na darating. Kanina pinag-uusapan natin, ano, paano ba i-pronounce yung Hades? Hades ba? Hades ba? Heaven and Hades? But still, God is assuring us. Kahapon, no? Very beautiful assurance ang ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your hands because your redemption is at hand. And we are carrying that spirit in our readings or reading of the gospel for today. No, the, 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 the bud of the fig tree will blossom. The words of God will not pass away. Reminding us that in these difficult times, in these times of fear and confusion, we cling to what is lasting. We cling to God. We cling to His words. Words that will not pass away. Words that are everlasting. Amen. The Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His return 
and we say, Lord of History, sustain us. Lord of History, sustain us. That the Church may respond to the call for conversation and renewal, we pray. Lord of History, sustain us. That people of goodwill may work together to put an end to war and hatred, oppression and injustice, we pray. Lord of History, sustain us. That we may increase our awareness of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people, we pray. Lord, Lord of, of history, history, sustain us. That the sick may be given strength and hope, we pray. Lord, Lord of, of history, history, sustain us. For all of us, that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. May we all be protected from contract, the virus, and giving into fear and panic, we pray. Lord of history, sustain us. That our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus, we pray. Lord of history, sustain us. Almighty God, listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to your presence all around us. Make us closer to you each day. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Oh, 
pangalan ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, <clears throat> we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Onesto, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all that have died in your mercy. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our departed loved ones, those who are dear and near to us, and those souls we promise to pray, especially in this month of November. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, the saints of the SVD, St. Arnold Jansen and St. Joseph Renadamitz, our Blessed Maria Helena and Josefa, our martyrs, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you Dear Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we now pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as said dear apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of God's peace. peace, be with you. peace, be with you. peace, be with you. peace be with you. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, the Word that is everlasting. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say the, the word, word, and my soul, my soul shall, be shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> we pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Paracho Imperata, God our Father, we come, we come to, you to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people thus to find the cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus 
and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, tonight, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, Pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renademet, Pray for us. So once again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank those who are helping us, to mga seminarista natin, at mga collaborators natin, para dito sa ating pagmimisa ngayon and of course yung live streaming na ginaganap natin at yun pong mga nagtumutulong sa atin dito praying for the shrine and of course giving donations no, through our different uh, uh, accounts and platforms so marami pong salamat sa inyong lahat The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. and God live in our hearts. St. Arnold Johnson, St. Joseph Inademitz, and then the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.